there, Nerd Army. What's going on, guys? We got the newest episode of Gotham. Amazing, amazing episode. This is probably my favorite episode of Gotham, period, so far. It just was a really cool, crazy, psychotic kind of roller coaster ride the whole damn episode. Um, so it's called The Last Laugh. And there was a hell of a lot of Joker references in this fucking episode. Um, but, I mean, I know all you guys out there are saying Jerome is the Joker. Jerome is the Joker. Well, he's not, guys. And I, I've said that he's not for a long time, but I do think he is the cause for the Joker. Now, if you guys saw the episode, you know what I'm talking about. If you guys haven't seen anything, let's go ahead and uh, call spoilers. There's going to be lots of spoilers in this review. It is a full spoiler review. So, the episode starts with one of my favorite parts in the episode. Jim throwing a motherfucker out the window. Just be like, oh shit. You just see Jim stand there. I was like, holy crap, Jim just threw a dude out the window. What the hell's going on? Then we get, oh, goes up and he's interrogating this dude, smacking him around. He's like, oh, okay. Throws his ass out the window. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> it got crazy. I was like, Jim is throwing motherfuckers out the window from the beginning. Um, Yeah, that was a really crazy part, but. I love the way that they're introducing the Court of Owls. So Theo is the only major member we've met so far, but he talks about how his family was one of the original families in Gotham, and they helped build this city, and just goes on about that a little bit here and there. So I know Theo's a member of the Court of Owls. Um, I'm excited to see who else and what other families in Gotham are part of it. I mean, to be honest with you, Barbara's family's been around for a long time. Barbara Keene. The Keens could have been a member, but I don't think Barbara is. I think they're going a little too crazy with her. I don't think she's truly a member of the Court of Owls, or her family might have been. But Barbara fucked it all up when she killed everyone. Um, another cool part in this episode is when Jerome goes to visit his father once again. So the cops are going to go talk to Jerome's dad and say, I think this dude's lying. We're going to find out what the hell's going on. They show up to his house, and... He is already tied to the chair, and Jerome was covering his mouth like, don't talk, because they were sitting there talking smack. Jerome was going to kill him, just talking about all the stuff he used to do when he was little, how he'd go in there, and him and his mom would get fucking wasted, and then they'd bone, and then after that they'd take turns beating the shit out of Jerome, so that was fucked up. That's a fucked up childhood for anybody. See what happens when you guys hit your kids? Jesus Christ. Some kids need to be swatted, but... Not beat the fuck out of your children. That's stupid. I hate that. I was beat up as a kid. Now, fuck that. That he, that turned his ass nuts. Um, not to mention other shit, too. But Jerome's parents used to beat the fuck out of him. And the blind daddy. Um, so Jerome has him all tied up. And Jim and Bullock are outside the door saying they need to talk to him. No, 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 no. Hey, we need to talk to you, GCPD. Jerome just goes, Whoa! smashes a fucking knife in this dude's eye. I'm like, oh, shit. Dope. Jim and the, Jim and Bullock walk in, and he's like, oh, shit, the door, the window, Bullock, the window. And he starts running to the window. Bullock moves this dude's hand, who's covering the same knockout gas that was used to break him out of Arkham. So, And Jerome dropped a bunch of letters there on his floor that were secretly coated with Braille, Tell him how they're going to break him out. So he kind of set it up to make it seem like the dad broke him out of Arkham. Which, Jim to, Jim ain't fooled by that shit. Jim is not fooled by that shit. You do not get Gordon that easy. He knows that it wasn't him, and he's like, I don't believe it was him. He tells Bullock that. So Bullock's like, okay, so we're back to square one, okay. Um, but that was a really cool part. My one of my one Probably one of my favorite parts. Not the favorite, but up there is when Lee Tompkins first meets Bruce Wayne. Now, a couple reasons this, that this is really cool. Now, if you guys remember the old Batman animated series, Lee Tompkins was always the one that was there when Bruce was laying flowers down for his, like roses down for his mom and dad in the alley where they were killed. Her medical clinic was actually on that street, on Crime Alley. So 
that was really cool to see them meet for the first time here because she's such a big part of the animated series and she's in the comics a bunch too. So it was really cool to see that, that first meeting. The other part of that first meeting that just fucking had me on the floor laughing is the fact that Alfred was straight hitting on her like the whole time. Bruce goes to get her water, and he's just, like, hitting on her. He's asking her out to dinner, and he's like, I know this really exclusive restaurant, and I, I'm really good friends with the uh, the chef, so if you want to go in, she's like, I haven't, I've been trying to eat there forever. She keeps turning him down, turning him down. So the whole time that she's around Alfred, he's, like, hitting on her. He's, like, oogling her and just smiling at her. It's all, like, sprung. And then at the end, Jim and Jim walks up and Alfred's hitting on her again and I'm like, oh shit, Jim's standing like right there. He's just like, looking at Bruce like, what the fuck is going on? Then as they're walking away, Alfred keeps looking back at her and she, Jim's just like, kiss me. So she walks up and kisses him. Alfred's like, Mr. Bruce, did you know? Did you know they were together? You made me, you let me sit there and make a fool out of myself. Oh, that shit was fucking great. I was dying laughing. My wife's like, what's so funny? I'm like, the fact that that shit just happened. Right there in front of Jim, and then Jim's like, kiss me. Just kiss me. Let him know. So, <laughs> um, another really cool part was Barbara. In this freaking episode, Barbara was crazy as hell. First we start off, Barbara and Tigress have a thing going. They're together, and they're like making out and kissing and everything. Right in front of Theo. And then it comes to... Barbara and Jerome go and take over the children's hospital as the, magi the magician and the assistant. And it gets crazy from there because Barbara's like sitting there blowing kisses at everyone. Then she drops her mask at one point during the show after they gave Bruce back to Alfred. After they cut him in half, which Alfred thought was real. And so did I. I was like, holy shit, Jerome is going to cut this fucking kid in half right now. What the hell is going on? But all, all was good. Bruce didn't die then. Um... <laughs> Bruce doesn't die, guys. He is Batman one day, so if you think he's going to die, don't be worried. But I was like, holy shit, he's going to get cut in half. I know, he, I know he doesn't die, guys. I know. Don't get mad at me. Don't talk shit. <laughs> but, um, so Jerome and Barbara are being nuts. Barbara walks up and is just being a crazy bitch. And so Lee sees Barbara before Lee gets a little, like, kidnapped by one of the guards Lee calls Jim and tells him. Jim rushes down. The other cops are too... Their freaking vaginas are too big and they can't even grow the nuts to walk in there and start handling shit. So Jim goes in there alone. He starts dropping fools. Not before the deputy mayor's killed and all this crazy shit. But Jerome is on a good one. So Jerome has got little Brucey with a knife to his throat and he's just like getting ready to kill this fool. Then comes Theo to the rescue after Theo came up on stage to try to stop Jerome earlier and Barbara knocks him out. Theo stands up and is like, I said that's enough. And then whoosh, just stabs Jerome in the neck. And Jerome just, uh, uh, you said I was going to be a, uh, uh, and he's dying. But then when he dies, the creepiest fucking face ever. Just died with a freaking smile on his face. Holy shit. And it never goes away. And then as they show uh, this, these two guys in this alleyway, there's a homeless guy walking behind them. They show these two guys watching Jerome's whole little escapades on TV, on the news reports. They show this little kid watching him, another guy watching him. As these people are seeing this shit, they're starting to laugh and get that crazy, ha, 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 the crazy Joker laugh. All right. Shit is crazy. Shit is crazy. Um, so, we get all that crap going on. You get all these people going nuts. Then the two guys in the alley go follow the old homeless man and start shank the homeless man a bunch and kill him and kill him and just stab him in his ass. Then the other guy stands up and he stabs his homie. And so everyone's just going nuts. So, like Jerome's father said when he was dying, your legacy is going to be like chaos and freaking insanity. It's going to be nuts, and you're going to cause, that's all you're going to cause. So, Jerome dies, guys. Sorry if you didn't know that. I warned you at the beginning not to watch this damn shit. But he released the crazy throughout Gotham, so potentially he could influence the Joker. The laugh, everything, the smile, the overacting, the craziness. He could influence the future Joker. You never know that little kid that's going crazy with his braces on. Ha 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 ha! 
that could be fucking the Joker. You never know. But, guys, that is going to be it for this review. It was a great episode. The Last Laugh was a perfect name for it because we got so many Joker references and left everybody laughing. Well, guys, let me know what you guys thought about that episode and what were your thoughts on it. What was your favorite part out of everything on that episode? Let me know down in the comments below, guys. Make sure you guys hit that like, thumbs up button if you would be so kind, and make sure you smash that subscribe button to keep up with me and everything that comes out of Nerd Central, guys. I'm Andrew. You have been watching Nerds Marized. Peace out. Hey, guys, if you like what you saw and you want to see more, make sure you go click that big, sexy subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time right here on Nerds Marized.